Building an online fitness business requires you to wear many hats and spin a lot of plates. You're the coach, the marketer, the salesperson, the tech guy, customer service, and everything in between. And this requires a lot of time and work. But what if there's a different way? What if you could get some of that time and work back by automating parts of your online fitness business? Like having an extra pair of hands, completing some of the repetitive tasks in your business, or even just taking the load off you so you don't have to remember to complete so many tasks in one day. I personally love this part of building an online business. I love everything tech, automation and software. And after building an online fitness business for over five years now, I've really learned how to automate some of the tasks in my own online business to really help myself and my team and that's what I wanna share with you today. In this video, I want to show you how I use Zapier to automate parts of my online business and how you could do that in your online fitness business. And don't worry, I'm not just gonna to talk to you about the possibilities and capabilities of Zapier. I'm actually going to dive into my computer and really give you some examples and work through with you creating some zaps for your online fitness business. Now, if you haven't heard of Zapier, it's a web-based automation tool that allows you to connect different softwares and tools to create workflows to automate tasks for your business. With Zapier, you can automate some of the repetitive tasks and really streamline your processes by creating zaps that connect different apps together. Zapier supports over 2,000 apps, which really gives you endless automation possibilities. Now, there are other automation tools similar to Zapier, and they might be cheaper like Truly or Pably, but if I'm honest, I haven't actually tested them, but that might be a future video. Now, to give you some context, I do wanna give you some examples of how you could use Zapier in your online fitness business. Now, the first example is client onboarding. So let's say you take a payment, that could trigger a Zap to Fire that sends out a welcome email, adds them to a spreadsheet or your CRM, and then maybe gives them access to your coaching app. Next, we've got payments. So if you use Stripe or PayPal or any other payment processor, you could automate any tasks after that. So I use this to automate our accounting so I don't have to go through and do all that boring invoicing when it comes to the end of the year. Finally, another example could be tracking exercise from your clients. So let's say they use MyFitnessPal and they're logging their exercise and their nutrition you could connect what we call a custom webhook that will then send that information through to a spreadsheet. And then you could have all of your clients in one spreadsheet so you could track what they're doing and how they're getting on with your program. Now, they're just a few examples of how you could use Zapier in your online fitness business. With Zapier's wide range of supported apps and flexible automation options, the possibilities are really endless. Now, it does depend on what software you're using and also what you want to connect. And while Zapier does have a lot of different apps some of them sometimes just aren't available but then you could use webhooks which is a little bit more advanced now when i first started looking into automation when i was building my online business i had zaps for everything so many different softwares and so many different connections and i always thought is there a better way and i'm always on the lookout for new software and that's when we started to develop our clientware the clientware was able to get rid of a lot of connections and a lot of zaps for us to really bring everything under one software now if you want to check out Clientware, I'll link the video at the end of this video, and I'll also drop a link in the comments. So back to Zapier, and I want to dive into my computer and really give you some examples and really walk through setting up Zaps with you so you can do it in your online fitness business. So this is Zapier, and I do have a paid account, so you can sign up to a free account, but please note that some of the Zaps and some of the connections might not be available to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a zap and what this will do is just start creating us an automation so the first thing to know is trigger and action so the trigger is what's going to fire the automation the actions are what's going to happen after it so let's give you an example of say an onboarding process for your clients the first thing you're probably going to do is take payment so this will trigger the automation so we use stripe you may use any other payment automation so we'll choose stripe and then we'll just follow each section and add in the relevant information so i'm going to choose the event so the event is going to be new subscription click continue i'll choose my account i'll click continue and then I'll test the trigger. So every time you create an action or a trigger, it's going to want you to test so you can pull that information through because what we can do is we can pass information from the trigger all the way through the automation. 
The next you'll notice it gives you uh, popular zaps that you can use and then also gives you built-in tools. So some of the popular ones are paths, so you can build different steps for different rules. You've got delay, so you can pause actions for amount of time. And then you've got filters, which I use a lot and will probably use a filter in this automation. And that means that you can filter um, and allow the automation to either proceed or stop on certain rules. And then format, so you can change how incoming data is formatted. So you can change dates, times, and a lot more. So the first thing we're gonna do is filter because I only want this to fire for say my coaching program. If I have other products, I don't want this to start. So we're gonna click filter and then we can choose the field which will pull through from Stripe. So in here, we would choose like the, the program information or the product title and then we'll do condition contains and then again, we'll pull through the, the Stripe information. I'm not gonna do it here because there is sensitive information in this app because this is a live account. So that's how you would filter. Next, what we wanna do is the next section of this automation would be adding it to say a spreadsheet. So we can add it to like our CRM spreadsheet. So we can type Google Sheets, we can add Google Sheets in. Again, we can choose the event, so we'll create a spreadsheet row. Again, we'll just connect up our G Drive or our Google Sheets account and click continue. Then we choose the drive, we choose the spreadsheet, and then we choose the exact worksheet that we want to use. Again, I'm not gonna do it just because of sensitive information. So once we've done that, we wanna add the next one. So the next one we can do is actually send emails out from the system. So if we choose Gmail, we can then choose the event, so we can say send email, and you can send this directly from your Gmail account. Again, I wouldn't recommend doing this on mass because you can't mass email broadcast from, say, your personal Gmail account, but you could send uh, a welcome email out from here. So we click continue, and then again, you can add the pull through the custom field for that email that you've got from Stripe. You can add who it's from, which will be your email address, from name, reply to, subject, and body. So you can see how now we're starting to build a nice automation. Again, you could put wait triggers in here as well. So after you've sent the email, you may want to say, right, well, now I want to add another action, which is, in fact, it's delay. So we'll delay in here. And we're gonna delay for a certain amount of time. So the time delay, we can just put in, uh, again, read what it asks. So uh, minimum delay is one minute. So we'll just put five and then the units that we're talking about. So five minutes and we can click continue. Now, the final thing you could add to this is connecting, say, up to your coaching app. So we're gonna delay it for five minutes and then we're gonna send them access to Trainerize. So again, we'd connect our account up, and then in here, you can uh, pull through that email name from Stripe from the original action. All this information will pass through, and you can create them account in Trainerize. So that's how you could create automation for your onboarding without having too much software. Your Gmail should be free, your spreadsheets are free. You, obviously, you pay a subscription, uh, well, a charge fee on Stripe, but then obviously, and then you've got Trainerize as well. But that's how you could create an onboarding sequence for new clients for your online fitness business. So the next example I want to show you is potentially doing accounting for your online fitness business. Now, like I mentioned in my video, you wear a lot of hats and sometimes you may get bogged down in tasks and you can't keep up to date with your accounting. Let's say the tax year is coming around and you're like, I need to pull everything together. That takes a lot of time. So you could actually use Zapier to automate some of your accounting. Let's say you use software like Xero or um, QuickBooks. You could add all of that information through from your payment processor like Stripe through to your accounting software. So let's create that zap. And from here, again, I'm gonna use Stripe as an example, as my payment processor. Again, I'm just gonna put new payment. And I'm gonna choose my account. And I'm gonna click continue. Again, I'll test the trigger. And I highly recommend each time testing the trigger, make sure it works and pulls through that information that you need. So this is an example where it couldn't find a payment. So this is uh, not pulling through payments. So I'd go back to the app and the event and I'll change this to new subscription. We'll click continue. Again, we can continue. We'll test the trigger and we'll click continue. 
So now again, you could filter for certain transactions. You could create a path where inside the paths you can filter for multiple transactions and then you could uh, add different labels to them if you need to. So for this one, I'm gonna keep it simple and I'm gonna choose zero. So I'll choose the software that we use and then here we can just say create, it'll be create sales invoice. So now every time a payment's taken, it'll create a sales invoice inside of zero for us. So all of your invoices can be matched up to your payments. And at the end of the year, this should make it a lot more simple for you. Again, you could add more zaps to this and more events. So you could create um, a spreadsheet of this uh, or email yourself when a payment's taken just to update you. So again, the possibilities are endless. I'm just trying to show you some examples of how I use it in my online business. Another example is if you're using Facebook ads, you can create zaps directly from Facebook ads. So a very, very common uh, Facebook ad campaign is lead forms. So if you're bringing people in from Facebook lead forms, you can type in Facebook lead ads, and then you can choose the event, so new lead. You can click continue. You can choose the account, and then you would choose the form, so the page. So we'll just choose the page that we want to use. So we're going to use clientware and then we'll choose the form. So we'll say default any form. Now we'll click on continue and we'll move to the next event. So the next event could be, again, you could send out an email. You could add these to a spreadsheet. So let's say we'll send out an email. Again, we um, send email out. And again, if you're doing this on mass, be careful with sending it like this. Maybe you want to add it to your CRM or your email marketing software like ActiveCampaign or MailChimp. So let's use that one as an example. So I'll just delete this one out, we'll delete that. And then we'll say, okay, we're going to use ActiveCampaign. In here, we'll create or update a contact. And then I don't actually have an account, so I can't go through this. So let's say we've added them to Active Campaign into an email sequence. And now we just want to update a spreadsheet. And again, you can just choose Google Sheets and add all of your leads to that Google Sheet. So there's another example of how you could use it for Facebook ads. So the final example I want to give you is if let's say you have booked a call with someone, so you've agreed a time and you create that time in your Google Calendar. So I know a lot of online coaches use like Calendly or Acuity, but if you don't wanna pay for those systems, then you could do it manually in Zapier. So we'll go to create the Zap, and the trigger is going to be Google Calendar, and we'll choose the calendar that we want to do. So it'll be new or updated event. In fact, let's do new event, because if we update it, it will send again. So we have to be careful what we use. So we'll click new event, we'll choose the calendar, and we'll click continue. And again, you can choose your calendar. Um, so let's just choose that one and click continue. So I'm not gonna test it because it might pull through some sensitive data again. So let's go to the next step. So when we add that new event to the calendar, again, we could do an email and send out information about when that event is booked and that can pull through those custom fields. So the time of the event, where to meet, if it's Google Meet or Zoom and any other information you wanna pull through. At the same time, we could add that to a Google Sheet and do that again. So we're tracking everything. So you could really create a nice CRM in Google Sheets if you can't afford to um, you know, buy the software and use software. Again, it's good to start with the basics and then build up as you build your online business. So they're just some examples of how you can use Zapier in your online fitness business. Again, there's so much you can do with Zapier and it can connect so many apps, whether you've got advanced software or you don't have any software at all. Now, if you want to learn more about our clientware software, then the next thing you want to do is check out the video here that I've linked up for all-in-one software for online personal trainers and health coaches. In this video, I give you a full demo and walk you through step-by-step step so you can see all of the features that it has to offer and see if it'd be the right fit for your online fitness business. So be sure to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.